and welcome back to the Scrapbook Podcast, Season 2. Make our movie. Same approach, different execution. Please enjoy the show. And welcome back to the Scrapbook Podcast. This is Jody Pratt, my fellow host, Patrick Wigfall. Yo! And this is Act 1 of Something... We don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. He's picking up genre. Drop two of them. Yeah. Uh, so Hands too big to be just dropping shit. <laughs> whatever. As you know, the fucking Scrapbook podcast, we pick um, one fucking piece of paper out of genre setting. Genre time. setting. Just three different cups. Genre setting time period. And uh, this is genre, right? And then we have uh, a bromance. Let's go. Somebody fucking. Yeah, man. Um, and then, what is this right here? That's time that you're touching. Time. And then we have 1970s. We're going to redo Top Gun. Yeah, man. <laughs> Homoerotica. <laughs> that was for sure the gayest shit. Yeah. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. No, it's a Gucci. No, I mean, literally, I was just uh, fucking around about uh, uh, Seinfeld, and they're just like, you know, he's gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> just saying that. And I, it's, I didn't even catch that. Good. And it's set in high school. 1970s bromance, set in high school. All right. How dark are you trying to go with this? Um... How dark you trying to go, my boy? I was thinking like Jeffrey Dahmer's like first like fucked up relationship. What? For real? <clears throat> but like him I was thinking about school days, nigga. <laughs> like you fucking relax, my boy. But school I'm thinking about school Jeffrey Dahmer. Out for summer. And he's just like, Hey, do you wanna go hang out? And he's like, I like to hang out in the forest. He's just like, Alright. But that's too much. That's too much. I, I went too dark with it immediately. I was like, oh, a serial killer. And then you just like find out that the nigga you're in love with is. But it's it's not gay, it's bromance. Yeah. That's what we have. Yeah. So what about what about a summer of finding out that he's your best friend? Oh. Yeah. Go. De- declaring that this nigga is your best friend. And New to town. Where where are we setting this up at? All right, let's set it up. Um, let's go to Idaho. Nice, something different. Yeah. And <laughs> you just said Idaho, so. <laughs> All right, nineteen uh, seventies. Yeah. Bromance. Ugh, I got horrible writing. Set in high school. High school. Yeah. Okay. I'll remember that, right? Just put high school yeah, you're below right. uh, 1970s. <laughs> Just put high school, though. Under 1970s. You don't got to make it fit like that. You're making it worse, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's just right underneath. It's okay. All right. Boom. High school. Um... Names? Bobby. Bobby. <coughs> and Kennedy. Kennedy? Okay. Bobby Kennedy? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> uh, my bad, nigga. Hey. Ah, you didn't even pick that up, did you? One of them get their head blown <laughs> back. Um, okay, so we got Bobby, and then we got uh, Kevin. Age? Change Kennedy to Kevin, and would we let's say uh, sixteen and fifteen? <clears throat> Summer League of Baseball. Yeah. Summer League, right? Yeah. Oh goddamn! It's okay. You're having a stroke right now. I know. <laughs> There we go. All right. Bobby is the pitcher. Pitcher. He's new to town. Kevin is the catcher. 
Can't get much get. Right, Bobby's black. And he's a um a high school standout from Kansas City. Alright. And uh Kevin's been, you know, this is his town, Idaho. Let's call it uh let's call it uh Boxburg. Boxburg? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, Boxburg, Idaho. And um Boom, right right there. Yeah, and this has been his town since he grew up and shit like that. And um Is he respected in the town for baseball? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh um, hometown hero. Yeah, hometown hero. Brought home uh almost got him to state two years in a row. I wanna say he's a junior now. They're both juniors. Um yeah. They didn't go to school together. They but they're in the same neighborhood. So Bobby just gets there like literally the last week of school. And the uh, the whole summer is them playing baseball together. Playing baseball. And 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 it's like going back off of like they're both dedicated to this shit. Exactly. And seeing that they're both dedicated makes him be like, This is the homie. This is the bro. Like Yeah. I, every Saturday, every day that we're not in school, we're at that field early, warming up. Warming, we're doing it like practice. Yeah. Okay. I like it. <clears throat> we can go into other things later. I was like, "What is it? What is the break?" I'm like, "No, no, no, no. It's just, yeah, it's just, just a setup. Yeah, slow it down. Um. Yeah." Bobby Kennedy, you're hella stupid. <laughs> <laughs> As it came right to my head, I was just like, damn, these these names is flowing. <laughs> um, what brings Bobby to uh, Boxburg? Um, he's living at his grandparents' house because his dad felt like he can stand out in baseball in Idaho instead of Kansas where there's a bunch of black people playing good as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of try to give him the competitive edge over people. He got a, you know what I mean? He's already throwing a 98, you know what I mean, knuckleball at 98 miles per hour. He's fucking good. But but you got grown-ass men there who, like. Yeah, you know what I mean? And he, he doesn't stand out in his group of um, peers in Kansas. But here he'll stand. But Boxburg, he's knocking the fuck out. He can bring home state championships. But Kevin, Kevin is is a half step behind greatness. Yeah, he's, he's on his way to being as exemplary as Bobby wants to be. Mm-hmm. And they steel sharpen steel kind of thing. Exactly, and he, I want to say Kevin has had to have a bit of a comeback. I want to say he's gotten, like, uh, when he was, like, 11, he got hit by a car or some shit like that. And it took him out of competition for, like, two years. What if, it, uh, on some old school shit, what if he falls out of something? Like, falls out of his treehouse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd note that. Falls out of treehouse. <clears throat> at 11. And that made him change his... Pitch stance or, or his uh, it his position from pitcher to catcher. Ah, and Bobby's coming in as a pitcher. Yeah, years later though, but he sees himself in Bobby, and he's just like, "Oh man, you gotta do this." And Bobby's just like, "Hey, bro, back up a little bit." So that it's like butting heads at the beginning. You know and what that's mean? what it is: is that like through that summer, he's like, "You want to cover the arm," and then he like. Has like a crick in his arm, and he's like, um, and you can tell he's like kind of embarrassed by it. Yeah, he, but he has dingers, bro. He, he he's he, got fire. Yeah, he leads he leads the league in home runs, but, but he doesn't. He can only make his elbow go this way. Exactly. So he has a that crook has him perfectly knocking the shit out of the park. But his passion was pitching. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, his dad was a pitcher. 
His grandpa was a pitcher. His grandpa actually played for the major leagues. You know what I'm saying? Like the Mariners or something like that. Yeah, something yeah, like, someone like the Diamondbacks or some shit yeah, like that. Something yeah. where people are like, did you really? Yeah. But he's just like, you know, I, I let my dad down and I'm the catcher now. So his dad's kind of giving him a little bit of shit. But dad's not showing up at the games anymore. Yeah, he's just like, oh, my son does. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, you can knock it out of the park, bro, but anybody can. He's like, oh, but could you? You didn't even make it to the major league. the whiskey, Dad. Yeah. He's just like. You know, and maybe uh, they kind of save each other from each other's situation. Because uh, it's more it's more build up. It's giving more background to him. Since Bobby lives with his, his uh, grandparents, they're real strict. You know what I mean? His grandpa's just like, his grandpa maybe was like a, a Negro Leagues player. You know what I'm saying? But it's the seventies now that shit ain't. Yeah, you know what I mean. But and he holds him to like a level that like is hard to keep. Yeah, it's a high standard. You gotta be playing with these white boys. And to be real, like he came in with that energy. Yeah, like it wasn't like oh I love you grandson. Like it was like you got here it was like now what you doing in the house? You ain't supposed to be hitting these laps, boy. If you don't get your glove and go out there and make shit happen, what are you doing here? Yeah, you ain't here for fun. Yeah. And and that's the energy that Bobby comes into this town with. Yeah. Nobody fucks with them. Nobody. Besides Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. That's a bromance, dog. Yeah, it is. Big bow, how you like me now? Niggas on a roll tonight, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to call it? The last home run. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um... What what is what is the name of their summer league team, the Idaho Bruisers? Bruisers. Yeah. Just call it the Bruisers. Yeah. Yeah. Because they have to fight niggas. Do they? I w- I would say people are like, you're gonna you're gonna back up this new guy, this black kid, because Kevin's white, right? Yeah. Bobby's black. You're telling me niggas in Idaho aren't going to try to pull up on my nigga Bobby? Maybe. And that's when he's just like, get the hell out of here, uh, 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 Jason. And he's just like, so you're, you're, you're with him? And he's like, yeah. And it, it's the standing up against like uh, people who say we shouldn't be friends. Yeah, and at this time, it's, you know, 68 was the civil rights movement and... You know what I mean? People, black people got the right to actually vote in 68. Mm-hmm. So, and this is what, 72 maybe? Yeah. So, like, it's not too far off from black people not look to as citizens. Yeah, there's a whole lot of hate still. It's still brewing. Going. Yeah, it's yeah. still there. It's, it's a Midwest state, so. And honestly, this could be some like a. I want to call it the bruisers. The bruisers? Yeah. I thought we were trying to get away from dust. No, fuck that. <laughs> that sounds so good. The Bruisers. Yeah, and they're part of the Idaho Bruisers, but they 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 take it as shout out Danny Brown. Yeah, a Bruiser Brigade. Uh, but yeah, they take it on a different level with each other when they meet, and we'll get into that uh, on Act Two and Three of the Bruisers. Damn, nigga, uh, fucking. <laughs> Uh, bro, mad set in the 1970s in, uh, you know, in high school. In Idaho. Yeah, in Idaho. Boxburg, Idaho. Uh, this is your host, Jody Pratt, my fellow host, Patrick Wakefall. Oh. We love you. Don't stop being creative. Peace. See you next episode. Deuces. <laughs>